In this session, we'll see about aggregator transformation. So we'll create a mapping in which an aggregator transformation is used to aggregate the data. So here I have an employee table. It contains employee name, uh, department ID, salary, and other details. So what we are going to do is we are going to calculate the total salaries paid to the employees in each department. So I have already imported two tables, department salary, which is our target uh, table and uh, the employee table. So if you see, we have ID, name, job, so salary and department ID. And in my department salary table, I have this two columns. So if I run here, uh, initially I don't have any data here in this table. If you check on the employee table. So this is the data. Now we are going to create a mapping. Okay, finish. Here, first we'll take the employee table. This is the source, so it is read. Okay, then we'll take the aggregator transformation. So, in order to calculate the total salaries for employees in each department, we need the employee ID column, we need the salary column, and the department ID column. So, let's see the properties of this columns so these are the ports uh, we won't be taking our employee ID into the target so it's just an input even the salary it's just input and department ID is input and output and we are going to group by based on the department ID so group by department ID and we need one more column which would be the output column which will aggregate the salary in each department and pass it on to the target. So we'll create one more column called total salary, which is of decimal data type. Yeah. Yeah. Now if you see it's being added here, it's only an output column so here I will take an aggregate function since we need to calculate the total use the sum function port is salary okay validate this expression okay okay so we are not going to make any changes to the advanced properties. The cache directory remains the same. Cache directory is nothing but the local directory where the data integration service creates the index cache files and the data cache files. And uh, these are the size information where default is auto. And tracing level is the amount of detail that appears in the log for this transformation. So we'll keep it as normal. So next, let's take the target table. It's a right, okay. So we will be taking our department ID and our total salary. So next, validate the mapping. Okay, then run the mapping. So let's check the target data. So if you see now, there are these three departments and these are the total um, amounts spent on salary in each department. So for more details about 
Informatica, go to A to Z, informatica.blogspot.com. Thank you.